Hey everybody, it's Chelsea. I'm Emily, and this, this is, is Good, Good Times Grooming. So today we are, uh, no, not we. I'm not doing anything but sitting down. But Emily. No, no <laughs> she's helping me. <laughs> we're gonna be grooming this baby today, but we're not gonna show you guys a groom. We're more so gonna be coloring her today. Uh, she's gonna be doing three different colors on her uh, pom-poms. <laughs> Sorry. The star of the show is over here. <laughs> the ears and also her tail is what we are going to be doing for today. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna be using Opal's permanent color. So this is not about you, Donnie. <laughs> We're gonna be using Old Paws Permanent Color. It is hopefully gonna last and it's gonna stick. It's not gonna fade out. So if you are using this, you definitely wanna make sure to tell the customer that it is not something that's gonna fade. It is permanent. The only way to get it out is to cut it out. And mom knows that she's cool with it. So we're gonna play around and have fun with it today. And also we are going to be doing a giveaway in a celebration of almost hitting 500 <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe, comment, and like. We're gonna be choosing somebody and um, picking Next Friday. We're going to announce it, the winner or the Friday following this video. We're going to be giving away probably a pair of shears, a small pair of shears. Nothing crazy. Don't go wild. <laughs> and then a little clipper and like some bandanas. And it's cool going to be a cute so, little basket yeah. just to say thank you for yeah. everybody. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and you will be interested. Like this video and comment below. Sorry, I'm watching Donnie. That's why I'm looking all over the place. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get started on the color, I think. All right. I'm not ready for this. I'm a little nervous. I've done this twice with this color on my other friends and my sister's dog. So I don't have the most experience. I'm a little experienced, but this is definitely going to be the biggest job that I've done. So we'll see what the hell happens. I just did some blow pins. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got the Opaws permanent dye. We've got adorable pink, mystic purple, and innocent blue. I have two bottles of this just in case, but I did find that a little bit goes a very long way. So just to tell you a little bit about the prep that goes into this. She's already been bathed. You have to work on clean hair. You cannot work if the dog's coat is greasy or dirty, the color is not going to stick and look as vibrant. So you definitely want to use like a clarifying shampoo on the spots where you're going to be dying. Don't put any conditioner on the dog because even if you put conditioner up here, rinse it off and it runs into the area that you're going to dye, the dye is not going to stick right there. So she's been completely bathed twice, got all the dirt off. She was blow dried. I brushed out and combed out her palms and everywhere else that I was going to dye because you want it to be completely brushed out so you can comb through it. Other than that, hold on, one sec. Fail. <laughs> I learned the hard way. They're gonna shake and color's gonna go everywhere. So I put conditioner everywhere where I don't want the color to be so that when the color, it's gonna get there. When the color gets there, when I go to rinse her off later, it's all gonna wash off in those spots where I put the conditioner and where I didn't, it's gonna stick. And so. worst case scenario, she left it long so we could shave it off. Yeah, I am taking her body down. I set her palm so I don't, where I, so I know where my line is. Cause I'll enter the picture of what we're kind of going off of. I'm taking her whole body down to this five length. I just left it so that if I get some on her, we have two chances of not fucking this up. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be as bulletproof as we can. Granted, I have not done this on a dog, but being that I used to do hair. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully we can figure this out. In my favor here. I'm broken? Of course the pump is broken. So, we cannot get conditioner anywhere where we're putting this dog. Otherwise, it's not going to fit. So that for the so. tail, we put it on the base. Yeah, the base and like her whole butt. So I'm gonna work with the booty. Emily's gonna work from the front, but y'all be able to see her. I'm hiding it back here. <laughs> going in. And I did do it a while back. I bathed the dog that I was working on and I put the conditioner on them in the tub when they were wet. And that worked, but I felt bad because the dog was soaking wet and it had to process for 30 minutes. So I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that next time. I'll just rub it on the coat dry. Because I was trying to come up with a system so I didn't have to bathe the dog completely and blow it out twice, but it's easier to just do it the right way. <laughs> hey, I'm going to blend it, and you can blend it down, Chelsea, on the base. I'm going to blend it a little bit into the top of the palm, mm -hmm. just so that it's hopefully it'll dilute it a little bit and not be such a harsh line. So if we put it kind of at the base, and then we are going to put the color over there, it's going to be kind of like pastel at the top versus just going from, you know, white to dark purple or whatever we're doing. So I'm kind of working it into the top of the line that I'm going to put it at. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom of the palm. Up there, but not back here. Well, you can do it at the base of the tail so it blends. Just at the top of the, the rest of the tail. Okay. She's getting the whole butt massage back here. <laughs> She's living a life. Her name <laughs> is Harlow. Now. Harlow? Her name is Harlow, yes. From the same um, breeder that we got Donnie from. I do all of her dogs. So I believe she was one of her first ones. She's such a good girl. She's very nervous at first, but then once you start grooming her, she like kind of just flinches out. Yeah, she's super like nervous. 
stay after. But she starts to give kisses and stuff after a while. I'm going to pour some more and we're just going to go over the whole... Here's the whole... Well, we might as well do the whole body. Just in case. So the ears are going to be a little bit tricky because if the ear touches the conditioner, then it's not going to take the color. But if she shakes her head and I don't put conditioner around her head, her whole head's going to be pink. <laughs> so I'm going to try to work underneath it and not touch her ears. And if y'all are colorists and you have an easier way of doing this please let us know yeah i'm still this, learning this is a lot it is <laughs> it's only my second time doing it and i was telling chelsea earlier like anytime i do a dye job i'm like stressing the whole time they're processing i'm like oh god it's not gonna come out right but it is fun if you have the time yeah so i'm gonna take my glove off so i have a clean hand because there's conditioner all over this glove and i'm gonna pick up the fonts and i'm gonna get her feet just in case I don't want her feet to be purple. Also, another plus, she's getting like a deep conditioning treatment right now. <laughs> Hi, Hi Donnie. How you doing? Alright. You got oh, her feet Lord. back there? Yeah. Sun. Wild. Just like that. Dye is gonna be everywhere in a little while. <laughs> the towels you on deck. And the liners down on the floor. Not my shop, but not my Alright, so we're gonna put a little bit. So we're gonna get little bowls. We're going to fill one with pink because we're both going to be using pink. I'm just going to put about this much in it for now. So the main thing is you just, ah, Donnie. You just want to saturate it and make sure that you're getting it down to the roots, combing it through, brushing it out, and pretty much just going back and forth doing that. And where you did that um, conditioner, you can put a little bit over that to help it blend. Take a little bit. So pink and then blue, right? <laughs> I already dipped it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just do whatever. It don't matter, honestly. It's like, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's bright. It's intense. You see why That's it gets stressed crazy. out? <laughs> Not the greatest smell, but their colors on point. Oh, yeah. I got that down. I'm wondering if it's like natural colorant stuff. You know how they use like dead bugs and stuff to make colors? But it's cruelty free, so it can't be dead bugs. I know in some dyes they use like beetles and crush them up to get like a purple color. Not that. But this is cruelty free and pet safe and everything, so I don't think it's that. I was wondering if that's why it smells funky, if it's made out of like vegetables or something. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even know they use dead bugs for a yeah. dye. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah. Really though. A little hard. Why did Donnie choose to sit there? I don't know. <laughs> by the end of this. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. But this is going to take a lot of attention. So, bear with us if we're quiet. Donnie! No! Oh my god! I think I just painted him. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie, he needs a little color in his life. <laughs> I think he has enough. <laughs> Personality is so loud. <laughs> Kobe's all boring, so I'm not used to crazy puppies. <laughs> Son, get off my. <gasps> Donnie! He untied my shoe. Oh lord. <laughs> Move. Hold on now. He straight up untied the whole shoe. Okay, take a nap. Maybe we'll try to like time lapse and fast forward through this. Because we're going to be here for a while anyways. Yeah. So we'll talk to you in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>
think we're maybe gonna wait with her like five minutes and then we'll get her in. Well, we can carry her to the tub and just wait in the tub. Okay. So we're in the tub. She shook her foils out so you can see why what I was talking about, the panic. Hopefully that'll come out. <laughs> we're gonna unwrap her legs. And you can kind of see a close up. Oh god, Chelsea, how the heck did you have this? <laughs> so I'll show you all first. I'm gonna rinse. It's uh, so bright. I don't know if I'm supposed to rinse with cold water or what, or if it matters, but I'm just gonna rinse. Normally it's cold. cold. Yeah. Until it's running clear. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna shampoo. Oh, there's a little bit of white in that one. Process for 30 minutes or so. I don't really know. <laughs> that foot is going to come out not blue. I thought about not doing her clean feet to begin with, so she's had her It would have, yeah, it would go all the way down. Yeah, I didn't. I was like, it'll be easier to see the separation eventually or clean feet, which is why I shaved above also. So, it came out Wow. Not going nowhere. <laughs> And that one's fully rinsed out, running clear, and it's still that bright. So. And I found usually when I do this stuff, I have to end up touching up like at a second appointment, just because it's impossible to get every single little hair. So usually on the color, like next time she comes in for a normal haircut, I'll just touch up whatever color I see needs to be touched. Because it doesn't really fade much, so it really just needs to Ooh, the tail's pretty. See, so all that stuff that was around, it's all coming off from the conditioner. I like that we started getting into this. It's fun. It is. It's a nice little hobby. All right, let me prove. <laughs> we're going to rinse the ears first, and then we're going to try to get that stuff off of the head. And I'm trying to keep it as separate as I can from her body to prevent it from running off. But that's another reason why I put the conditioner all over her body so that that stuff doesn't stick. Hopefully it will come off all this time. Whatever that is. <laughs> Hopefully it will come off when we shave her. That clean face is going to go down pretty far. <laughs> oh, you shampoo it? Yes. Just to get the extra out. Did you look all this up? Yes. There's still a lot of color coming out. Yeah. They're still gonna be vibrant, but I don't wanna leave the product on her and just rinse. Make sure to get it off. But it will still bleed for a couple of baths. Just not as much. Yeah, it's not gonna completely come out yet. So we're gonna skip this boring part, y'all, and we're gonna come back when it's time to dry. Yes. This is Hilo all rinsed out. We're gonna dry her and we'll kind of just fast forward through that and then we'll come back and she's all dry. I'm gonna finish her haircut. Oh my gosh! That was the last <laughs> fucking work! But it came out so pretty! Ah, she looks great! Her haircut's not done yet, y'all, but that's her color done. Chelsea's gotta run, so. Yeah, we're gonna put, uh, Emily's gonna put up some after pictures after the haircut and everything. Yeah. I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like. Yeah. So please remember to, uh, if, you, if you're. Gotta hold the baby. <laughs> Please remember if you're not a subscriber already, subscribe, comment, and like uh, to enter into the 500 subscriber giveaway. Yes, and if you're already a subscriber, great. Just comment and like, yep. and we will see you guys next week, and we will be announcing who won. Yes. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching us and Hope vibing you had fun. with us. <laughs> this was a fun one. Yep. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye.